All right. So from here, for example, um, if I were to install the I could put it up here, but I don't like this location. Here we go, here we go. So let's put the the pink warp depot here, right? And then I could say, oh, I want mint mangoes. And then gather a bunch out of the tree from wherever. And then I could be like, here we go, mint mangoes, and then yes, the other place will have it. That's great, that's really cool. All right, so that's how you use that, interesting. But you could probably put it out in the wild too. And it would be even more useful. All right. Traveling across vast distances. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go sleep so that I can um, pass some time. Oh, star mail. What's this? Uh-oh, it's from Casey. I had a year to think about things while you slept on your way across the stars. I think it almost scared me when things got easier and when I finally realized that what we each have now is what we wanted all along, because if you're still the girl that I know, you're happy out there on the very farthest frontier, and I hope the happiness you feel now lasts forever. I hope that sunsets over there are as gorgeous as they are over here, and that if you search far enough on a rainy day, some rancher out there has a taco stand you can visit. I realize that last one probably isn't likely to happen, but it sure would be romantic, right? I'm glad to have shared a part of my life with you, Beatrix Lebeau, and I'm happy to know that maybe one of those stars I see up there in the sky is you. Oh, wow. It's getting really sad and final. Like, she's, like, saying goodbye. And that this was for the best. Hmm. But that's really contrary to what H would have me say. We'll find out. We'll find out what happens. Okay. So let's get all these extractors done so that they will explode and they did oh I don't want roost rows or hens I want the resources yeah the buzz wax stuff like that there we go alright terrific now I can finally go put some down in the moss blanket and get that honey and get more drones and let it all happen. All right. Oh man, this thing is really growing some prickly pear. Great. Well, let's gather all this up and save it until I can get my drone in here to gather this stuff for me. Isn't that funny, IBK? You know what it is, is that when when you first start the game, you only have the small area of the ranch that's right by your house. But then as you make money, you can buy expansions to your ranch. And this is one of those expansions. And they each represent like different regions. And for whatever reason, in this zone, chickens just spawn all the time out here. So these chickens are just native to this area. So you can always just come here and get chickens if you need them. Because they just roam wild. All right, perfect. Now we're done. Yeah, it is kind of cool. It's like the chicken area. And so what I did at first was like, well, I'll just put more chicken stuff there. Because at first, I had a whole bunch of slimes whose diet was meat. 
and they wanted that kind of stuff. And so I was like, oh, I better get them, you know, chickens. But then it ended up being that uh, I have all slimes that don't really eat meat that much, and so I don't need that many chickens. And if I do need chickens, I can just get them from here. All right. So now it is time to go to the moss blanket and put down the real collectors. How many do I have? Let me look. Oh, I have four. Never mind. I know. I know how many I have. I've got four. Okay. Perfect. I think what I might do at some point is move my farming operation so that I can have more plots. But then, now that I think about it, if I finish Ogden's loyalty quests... I think he will allow me to expand this portion of my ranch. And then I will be able to put all the farm plots that I could ever want over there. And have the drone that's dedicated to that operation. Reaching all of the plots across the now expanded section. So I might just keep it as is and see if Ogden... Gives me a bunch more plots that can all be worked by that drone or not. Alright, here we go. Advanced apiary. Install. Advanced apiary. Put it in. Uh-huh. One more. And then... I can put one up there, it looks like, too. Perfect. And, oh boy. Here we go, sort of. Nope. You always have to be careful, like, where you start your jump with your jetpack. You have to be just high enough. Because, unfortunately, it just doesn't go forever. It would be ridiculous if it did. You could exploit the environment too, too easily, I think. So they put some kind of limit on it. But I would appreciate if it could go a little bit higher. Maybe there's one last technology upgrade that I can get that would, you know, present that for me. But I haven't found it yet. Okay. Almost there. Great. So now... That's all squared away. And I can just wait for those to start gathering honey for me so I can build my other drone. Man, more mail from Casey. She's blown me up now that I've made it a lot further in the game. The adventure continues. Got some kind of achievement. Hi, B. There's another tour com coming up, and I have a feeling that this will be the one. So here I am, packing my bags and thinking of you. Ooh, it's not over. Maybe this is how I felt when you were leaving for your big adventure. Lots of excitement, lots of butterflies. And even though I know you're so far away, I keep thinking that maybe I'll catch you somewhere out there in the crowd. If that ever happens, I'll promise I'll sing a song for you. It wouldn't be the first time. Interesting. All right. Um, so this... The next reward for this 7Z Rewards Club costs 32000 Um, And that's just a lot of money. I don't have that money. Oh, here's the end, I guess. That day, Beatrix took a moment to reflect. She thought about Hobson and Thor. Oh, his name's Hobson. and the adventure she'd been ex hoping to expect. Ooh, what's going on now? Oh, here's Casey. 
knowing that you'll be a thousand light years away. Oh, wow, I get the ending. Well, that's kind of cool. When you find what you're looking for, will you know what to do a thousand light years away when you do? Now I can only assume. Oh, when you do. Yeah, I did, but I, I'm I'm and pretty sure that um they let you play as much as you want afterward, you know? But I don't know. I guess getting to that point in the glass desert. <laughs> That's right, Ivy K. You were here when I beat Slime Rancher at this minimal level. I'm sure I didn't get like the best ending or whatever, but um, and there's a lot of stuff still to do. But. Yeah, that's great. This is a pretty small team that worked on this game. I mean, it's indie. For sure. It's interesting the way that the plot worked for the game and how you never choose. You know, the two doors are there and Beatrix LeBeau, we don't know which one she's going to go down. Oh yeah, they did make it a great job with a small team. I, love, I mean, like, it's it's such a great time to be a gamer because of all of the ways there's so many games that are out and so many indie teams can develop and make games that are great and then you've got your triple a stuff which can be great too for every pioneer on a brave new frontier be brave be bold and stay wiggly that's right i'm so wiggly okay see so what then happens is the adventure continues and you get to play more and you can just kind of keep going. And I received a star mail from Hobson. Interesting. Did it change my field of view? It feels closer. All right. So what does this say? Hello, Beatrix. I just wanted to say thanks for taking care of the old branch. I know I left it in a bit of sorry state. And from what I hear, it's looking mighty fine. Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy knowing that it's in such good hands. And as a little thank you, I have activated three secret vaults that I built years ago to stash a small fortune of mine. I had always planned on using it as walking around money in the great beyond, but I ain't needing it for that no more. But you know me, I like a good adventure. I'm not telling you where the vaults are located. Go explore. Huh. So, that tricky guy left a whole bunch of money around for me to get. Well, that's exciting. So now that I can go try to find some some small fortunes that he left hidden somewhere. That's cool. And I can continue building up my ranch and like optimizing all of the different features of it to make it the perfect ranch. And I think, um, oh my, I've been bitten. I think for sure something I need to do is turn off this, destroy this corral, really. Um, and demolish it. And then we're going to turn it into a silo. And I'm going to purchase all the storage. And then I'm going to tell my... Bot to um, put it in the silo so that I can store these plorts. 
because I'm going to need quantum plorts and puddle plorts for other things. I can sell them when I need to, but I know I need hunter plort for sure. Oh, and while I'm in here, let's put some drills. down and um, try to avoid I need to turn off this incinerator too there's no reason to have this there we go okay oh my getting blown away by angry hunters so we'll just leave them to, to their devices I mean, let's just check I want to see my silo over here yeah, we're getting there. Okay, great. So... One last project that I'd like to kind of... get going. I'll sleep until morning. And then return. A slime key. A single spare, just in case you can't seem to find the last one. Oh, wow. So they'll sell me one key for 25000 That's cool. I'll try to find it on my own, but it's nice that you can just, you know, they provide that for you. Hey, is my plor collector working or what? This has a plor collector, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So what's going on? Oh no, it has the plort. It's just the drone is behaving slowly. Okay. So I want to go and collect, check the collectors at the moss blanket and see if I finally got the honey so I can put this part of the farm on auto harvest basically. I feel like there's still so much I have to do. I haven't un even unlocked the, uh, the way to have maximum carry capacity in the game. It's pretty crazy. Here we go. There it is. There's the honey. That's exactly what I need. Terrific. Um, I'm just going to get rid of these rock plorts for now. We don't need them. I'm going to probably make a bunch of tar slimes, but that's okay. Let's just gather the ingredients that we do need. Got it. Man, that... I mean, that worked like gangbusters. Oh, that's right. I even have one up here. Terrific. Yep, I knew I was going to make a tar. It just... That happens. All right. When you dump a bunch of plort out like that. Okay. So then... Let me head back. running along a bridge a rickety bridge trying to get to our fabricator here we go it is 12 13 a.m. for me so it's close to my bedtime IBK I just want to do this last bit what time is it for you, my friend? Mmm.
bedtime for both of us then. Here we go. So let me fabricate a um, drone. You work late? Ah, I gotcha. Oh no, I don't have enough honey plort. Well, guess what? This is why I um, started storing everything in my silo. So that I wouldn't sell the plort that I need. Like, for example, honey plort. Let's see, do I have any just lying around to the collector? Yes, I do. Here's a bunch. And then, let me check my silo. And yep, I got 73, honey. That'll do. Terrific. <laughs> oh, tell dog that stinks. I'm sorry. Well, I'll tell you what. As soon as I um, exit the stream, you'll be able to watch the ending on the on Twitch on the vod. All right, we're gonna just fabricate this drone. Can we finally get this thing? Boom. We did it. And I'm going to take this drone. I'm going to build drones everywhere. I mean, we want... You can have one in each section. So, obviously, we want one in each section. So, whenever I'm doing something, exploring or whatever in the game, uh, some of the labor is being automated. All right. So, then let's open up. And um, we'll put the drone up top here just because... I, I don't find myself ever wanting to go up here. Um, and we will then tell him... Oh, no. All right, here's your commands, my friend. I need you to target... Um, oh, no. What a disaster. He can only do fruit or veggies. He can't do both. Can I just do food in general? No, you can't. You can get really specific if you want. All right, well, then that makes sense. So then I don't have to feel bad. Um, what I can do is just put all the fruit in this section and have him take it from... Uh, gardens and put it in the silo. There you go. And now he's got water and he's ready to go. So this is fruit. This is fruit. These heartbeats are going to have to go. And I'll put in a different fruit here. Um, and then I'll have to build a... Special veggie drone for my veggie operation. <laughs> Interesting. Alright. Well, perfect. Everyone, we are getting there. We are making delightful progress um i'm just gonna sleep until morning and step out and see how all of my drones are doing let's give them the water that they need and there you go It's a great question, IBK. I think it lasts for one day, like one in-game day. And the way I figure, like, my thinking on it is they put that water in there as their fuel just so you can't sit back and let the drones just work forever, you know, and just sleep for, like, two years and then come back and be rich or whatever. Oh, 
Okay, perfect. Well, we're thrumming along, and we're going to keep doing that. So, everyone, I am going to go to sleep now. I hope you have an excellent evening or day. I want to say thank you so much for watching. We beat the game. Can you believe that? I had no idea that that was going to happen. So we won, but we still have a lot of work to do in terms of getting this ranch to be as special as it can be. Oh, all of these slimes are angry. Uh-oh. Look at this. You see all their angry faces? It's because they're hungry. So we got to give them food. That's hilarious. They're like, we're hungry. Let me turn the speed down on their food. There. All right. So, I will check you guys next time um, on Sunday evening. I believe I will be back up and doing RuneScape. And we'll start the streaming all again. But I hope you all have a nice weekend. And I will check you next time. Thank you, IBK. Yes, good night, my friend. Good night, everybody. Take care.